guys, welcome back to a brand new Minecraft video. Now today, I am going to get a command lock, and I just want to show you guys something. Particle dust. <clears throat> what does it want you to do? Well, so now... If you watched my previous video, you'll know how to do this part, most likely. And if you haven't watched my previous video, go watch it. But, um, just in case you're confused, um, or, just to go into more detail about this, I'll show you basically how it works. So now it works like, you know, the normal particle command, how you would expect, you know, everything like that, except for, it also has a cool color feature, which I really want to cover. So, um, the first number here is red. So the more you add of this, oh wait, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's red. I think, I hope it's red. It kind of looked a little blue. Let's see, is it red? Yeah, it's red. Now, also, um, decimals are your very best friend in this. Because they also add more variants. Not still exactly sure how this works. But, I mean, if I do know that the decimal... Well, I know how it works, I just don't know how the decimals work. Exactly. Like, what they specifically do. Oh, also, by the way, if we do 10 by 10 by 10, so first of all, you see this, yeah, okay, that's fine. Now, if we change the color to nothing, it will actually become black. Now, I know one time I got it to look white. I don't know how I did it, but I did it. Uh, and it looked super cool. Here, what if I do one? Nope, still black. Okay. So, well anyways, the second number is green, so this is pretty cool. Maybe for like a totem of undying. If you want to simulate that, now I would recommend doing like, let's do something like that. Um, we'll make this a three. Now look at this. This actually kind of looks nice. Now you could use this for a number of things. One thing that would be really cool is maybe what if like in the area you... Somehow you got, like, something... What if... I have an idea. So, it's a 20 by 20 by 20 area. So, you could have a second command lock. Now, I'm just going to take this, move it up. And... Oh, wait. I, wait, what? Ah, shoot! Okay. Particle... Dust... Zero... One, zero, zero... Alright, it's 1.9. Actually, let's just do 0, 1. 10, 10, 10. Okay, now this isn't as good. I would recommend actually doing something lower, like 10. Then you can see... It's just a little bit slower, more subtle. I kind of like this more. But then if we do, let's say, execute at, at E, type, actually just type equals anything but the player, run, effect, give, at S, and then we can do glowing, for one second, and true. Now look at this, if we just 
get like a zombie. Let's say. I mean, it doesn't have to specifically be a zombie. It won't work. Oh my gosh, I messed up so badly. Ah. Uh, okay, we also have to do distance too. I forgot about that. So we will do, and it's 20, not 10. And again, this isn't going to be a square. So it's not even going to work out how I want it to be. But whatever, it's cool. Anyways, so. And you can see this actually has a pretty decent radius. Look at that. That's like, that's like right here. Something like this. Like that, kind of. Well, anyways, this will work with all mobs except for the player. In fact, anything but the player. Even if we summon in... Slash sheep. Actually, we can, I guess, summon in a sheep. I'm just gonna do... I think six is pink. And pink sheep. I don't know. Wait, ah. Yeah, it is pink. Okay. So now we just go and we type this into a command lock. Yay! Rainbow sheep! I ah, know! I pressed command! Ah! Darn it! Okay. Well, you can see any other entities. I don't know. This could be useful. Maybe not glowing. Maybe something else like... Wither would be useful for a mob farm. Like, maybe you put, like, a special item down and it summons an armor stand that just replaces these command locks. Now you can see anything that comes too close, well, it dies. You can see what's going on there. If they come too close, they'll die. Now you know what I'm going to do. Make everything die. <laughs> I, I don't know. Okay, well, basically, that's off topic. But you can see how that color selector type thing works in the beginning. Um, so, yeah, that's just kind of a cool thing that I just want to show you guys. Just making a tutorial video on it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please, if you enjoyed, leave a like, share, and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching, and good.